people, please welcome Bell Ribeiro Addy, MP for Streatham. Welcome. Thank you. And thank you to all of you that keep on showing up at these very, very important protests and rallies. Before coming out here, I thought about how long this has been going on. Seven months. It's been seven months since October. Tens of thousands dead, millions living in hopeless conditions, cut off from aid. International agencies are reporting that water and medical infrastructure has deliberately, deliberately been destroyed. And you know, when we get to a situation where starvation is effectively being used as a weapon, we're long past the point where anybody can claim that the war in Gaza is about self-defense. We've marched, we've rallied, um, we, we've done so much, I know so many of you have written to your MPs and I think it's very, very important and this is the reason why some of us are here today, for you to understand that as many are not standing up in there, there are so many of us that do support the people in Palestine. We support Palestinian people's human rights and we think that they should be respected and we do believe that there should be a ceasefire now. But it almost seems as if there's nothing else that we could possibly say. And whenever you feel like that, I want you to continue to shout loud and clear that we want a ceasefire now. Say it as many times as you have to say it to make sure that our government, the US government, all of those governments that continue to hold out and support the onslaught of Gaza until they understand that that is what the people right across the world want. Now, the most vulnerable are suffering and our government continues to refuse to condemn it. Not only do they refuse to condemn it, they continue to supply arms to Israel. And what we need to understand is that that makes our country complicit in genocide. It makes our country complicit in war crimes. This is not people that support Palestinian people saying that this is what international agencies are saying. So we need to end that, that sale of arms to Israel. We need to make sure that our government stops making us complicit in this awful, awful onslaught, in this awful war that has seen some of the most vulnerable people in the world continually attacked. And what we need you to do is to keep on coming out, no matter how many times you are asked to, until the people in Palestine, until the people in Gaza are free. Thank you.